Today we're going to be working through some belt measurements. Common measurements include inside circumference. This measurement is taken from the inside or the bottom portion of an endless belt, or it would be the measurement of a conveyor that does not yet have a belt installed. Outside circumference is the top surface of an endless belt. A board length measurement is when a belt is laid flat with a standard tape measurement. After you have a measurement, you'll need an ordering term. Squared end refers to a belt that would be cut exactly to length. Open end, this refers to a belt that is not to be below a certain length but could come over or themed. Today we're going to be working through some belt measurements. When you're measuring a lace belt, this allows for you to take a board length measurement. I'm going to start on that one inch mark right where that pin location will fall making sure that you keep your tape in contact with the belt at all times. You bring the other end down to where the next pin would fall, and we fall right at 66 and a quarter. Measuring an endless belt can be done over the series of a few indicated marks. By using a piece of masking tape in this, a ballpoint pen, you can place those marks on the belt without causing any permanent damage. And then when you've got those marks lined up on your tape measure, just indicate them down and repeat. And still with this, I'm being sure that my measurements are accurate. Typically over the course of three marks, when you're on that final position, you simply add the previous numbers and you have your belt length. 